Hi everyone, uh, this is how the widget solar system works on Garmin devices. As you open the widget, you will see uh, the inner planets from the top of the ecliptic plane and their orbits around the Sun. Uh, here we can see Mercury, Venus, the Earth and Moon, and Mars. By pressing the stop button, start stop button, um, you access a menu. The first item of the menu is date second one is scale, and the third one is label. So on the date one, you can change the date. Here we can uh, increase or decrease the date by 10 days. You can see at the bottom uh, what is the date reflected here. Um, if you press again the start and stop, you go into scale mode, and here you can zoom in or out. And as you zoom in or out, um, the scale here shows, so this distance is 1.8 uh, astronomical uh, unit, and this is uh, a 10 days scale as you change the date, but if you zoom out, uh, this will become 6 months per increment, all the way till 4 years per increment. And what I mean by that is that if I increase the date now, it will increase by, increase by four years. Okay. Now going back into the scale, zooming down again. <clears throat> so we first have the four inner planets, then we have the asteroid belt, then Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, and the second belt, which is the Kuiper belt. And that's uh, how far as the app goes. And the final setting is the label. You can go to no label or just one letter, if that's easier, as you zoom in and out to reduce clutter on the screen. Okay, now the if you press the menu button, uh, that will revert to today. So I'll show you again. I just increased uh, to six days from now. And I press this button for two seconds and I go back to today. Now uh, I will zoom out again. And uh, one of the uses is to know um, where the moon is according to us. So the moon is right there. Um, let me just get rid of that letter. All right. So the, the moon is right there. And so that means there will be a half moon at the moment. If the moon was directly behind the Earth, there will be a full moon, and if it was uh, in front of the Earth, there will be a black or a new moon. Um, because of the position of these two planets, um, it will be uh, almost impossible to see, uh, see them, because you can only see them during the day, which is this area. Uh, Mars could be seen uh, in the morning, but none of the planets can be seen really at night, because night is kind of this area. Whereas the sun, uh, the daylight is, is this area. Um, now zooming out again. Yeah, no other planet is actually visible. Well, uh, Uranus and Neptune are well would be visible at night, but of course they're very faint, so you need a nice telescope for that. And uh, one other interesting thing is. See that right now is not the right time to send something to Mars. Um, we would rather wait. When's the next opportunity? That's when the Earth is catching up on Mars. And I think this time would be better suited. And that is basically January or February 2018. Okay, that's some of the uses for this app. If you have any questions, let me know in the reviews. Thanks.